will go for the test procedure for the hydrogen dialysis. For this, what we can do, we can take the 50 gram of soil sample, seed by 75 microstrips, and in that soil, we shall mix the 100 ml dispersing agent solutions. How we can prepare the dispersing agent solutions? We shall take 33 gram of sodium hexamide phosphate plus 7 gram of sodium carbonate and make up up to 30. We can also use the 75 ml hydrogen peroxide if organic matter is available in this one. We can use 10 ml 1 NHCl to remove the calcium compound if it is available in this one. But we should remember that in our soil, these two things organic matters and the calcium compounds are not there. We can see here the, the chemicals, the sodium hexametaphosphate, sodium carbonate. This we have to use for preparing the solution. This solution we have to prepare. And if the soil consists of the organic matter, we have to use the hydrogen peroxides. And if calcium compound is present, we have to use the hydrogen peroxides. So after that, we have to use this uh, hydrometers. We shall keep the hydrometer inside these uh, suspended solutions. We have to keep this, this hydrometer only for 10 seconds. Once uh, the reading, you are going to complete the readings at a different time interval. Then, at every time you have to remove and keep inside the, this distilled uh, water. So that the soil will not stick on the bulbs, hydrometer or the hydrometer bulbs. Otherwise, the reading will not be correct. Now you can see how we can find out the calculations, uh, the, uh, this, uh, calculations uh, composite calculation. That I will tell you uh, later on. Now you can see the reading we have to take normally half minute, one minute, two minute, four minute, eight minute, like that. This can continue up to 24 hours. As I told you in the beginning, we have to immerse the hydrometer inside the soil suspension only for 10 seconds, not more than that. Otherwise, the reading will not be correct. How we can find out the, the various corrections? See, many such corrections uh, we can normally we are used to going to take the 0.5. We have to add these values. And dispersing agent solutions, once you are going to use the dispersing agent solution, the concentration of the solution will increase. In that case, the reading we have to deduct. The, we have to deduct the reading. In case of temperature corrections, as your uh, this uh, hydrometer is calibrated on 27 degrees centigrade, and uh, temperature is uh, suppose temperature temperature is more. In that case, what we have to do? If temperature is more, in that case we have to add this uh, the values. If temperature is less, then the value we have to subtract it. So how we can find out the composite corrections? So for this, we can use uh, uh, in the measuring cylinder 900 ml distilled water and 100 ml the dispersing agent solutions. And after that, suppose the reading is coming in this uh, cylinder is 1.002. In that case, we shall multiply by uh, my, uh, subtract minus one because uh, the a specific gravity of the hydrometer is 1. So I multiply by 10, 10, uh, 1000, it will value minus 2. Suppose on the hydrometer reading is 0.997, subtract by uh, minus 1, and multiply by 1000, this will become plus 2. So this this uh, uh, the formula we have to use to calculate the composite corrections. Once you are going to co calculate the composite corrections, composite correction means these three corrections, and hydrometer reading uh, you are going to est uh, start taking uh, at a various time in the, the The actual reading will be capital. Now we shall come to the table. A specific gravity already we have determined for our soil sample. 50 gram soil sample we have taken. And many source correction 0.5 always we have to take it. So you can see in this table at various time in intervals we have to take the hydrometer. So suppose first reading is 20.25. And the temperature of the soil suspension is 30 degrees. So, our, our value is there, meniscus correction. We are, we are going to add the meniscus correction here. Then this value will become 20.75. This value we have to use to find out the values of the technical factor, which we have already uh, seen in case of uh, calibration of hydrogen. So, a C value we can calculate. And for our soil suspension, suppose the composite correction is uh, minus 0.5, minus 0.5 like this. So in that case, what will be the, the actual reading? So actual reading is equal to 
the hydrometer reading which you have taken in the, from the soil, in the soil suspension plus composite correction. The composite correction you are going to add here 20.25 minus 0.5 this will come like this. Similarly factor M. The factor M how we can calculate the factor M? Factor there is a formula for factor M which is 0.3 eta. Eta is the viscosity. G is the acceleration due to gravity. Capital G is specific gravity. Density of water. So by using these values we can calculate the factor M. So the factor M will remain same for all this for all the time intervals. Now once you are going to calculate the values of M, then we can find out the particle size. So for different values of effective height, for different uh, at a different time interval, M is already fixed. You can calculate the particle size of the at a different uh, time intervals. So see the particle size uh, is uh, given in this uh, columns, and the percent final. We can calculate by this formula. G already uh, we know that is equal to 2.65. R already we have calculated here. R is equal to is R dash S plus C that is 90.75. So and mass of the solid uh, 50 gram is there. So then we can find out. So for different values, the different uh, percent final we can calculate using this and this, the percent uh, particle size and the percent final, we can draw the graphs. Once you are going to draw the graph, this, this graph will indicate the particle size distribution curve. Thank you.